Hello everyone, and welcome to the sixth episode in a series where we create a design system in Figma called FDS. In this episode, we'll be creating layout and breakpoints. Okay, so what is layout? Well, layout is a set of vertical columns that allow designers and engineers to define the layout of their screens in a structured way. FDS uses a responsive 12-column grid for desktop and tablet that becomes four columns on mobile or apps. Each column contains 8-pixel padding on either side, and the 8-pixel side margins provide a consistent 16-pixel gutter size across the entire grid. And if we just come down here, you can see that in action. We've got one column, and I can show you that there, one column with 8-pixel padding on either side. The rest of it's going to be fluid, of course, because it's responsive, and then you've got the 8-pixel margin on the outside. There's 12 columns there and 4 columns for mobile. All right, so what are breakpoints? Well, breakpoints are specific points at which the layout of an interface adapts or breaks to accommodate different screen sizes or device orientations. We have four breakpoints that cover desktop, tablet, and mobile devices. The mobile breakpoint can also be used for app design as it's the same size as an iPhone 14 or 15 Pro. And if you look at the table here, you've got the device on the left, which is desktop, tablet landscape, tablet portrait, and mobile their names, which are t-shirt sizing again, all the way from S for mobile, small, medium, large, and Excel up to desktop, and their sizes, which are 1440, 1024, 768, and 393. Combined, we can create variables that snap between each breakpoint automatically, with the only thing left for you to do is change the layout grid. Let's hope Figma updates variables so we can tell the layout grid to change automatically when you switch between desktop and mobile. Okay, let's create our breakpoint variables and layout grids. Let's go and open up the local variables. You can see the spacing collection there that we did last time. Now, let's go and create a collection and call this layout. Inside there, create a number variable. Let's call this XL1440. And here's a trick I picked up from a community member called Abdul. You go Shift Enter to duplicate the variable. Thanks a lot, man. Awesome. Now let's go L, change that to 1024, duplicate it again, change that to M and 768, and then small, which is 393. Now let's select all of them. Go new group with selection and change that to breakpoint. And you might be wondering why they aren't set up in modes like desktop and mobile up here that you can switch between. Well, Figma just released type variables and we're gonna do a typography update, which would be something like this. So let's create a collection called typography. In there, we're gonna create a number and this will be breakpoint but we're gonna use one of the variables that we just created. Let's go and grab it, change this mode to desktop, add another mode, just resize that so we can see it and go all the way down to S and change this to mobile. Now, if we create our typography variables in here, we're gonna have the desktop sizing here and the mobile sizing here. And the way we're gonna switch between them is by selecting this frame going up to the variable, going into typography breakpoint, assigning it there, and then you can switch between typography desktop to mobile like that. And all the desktop sizes for the typography will switch to the mobile ones automatically. Let's switch this back and create our layout grids. And with this desktop frame, we're gonna to go to layout, press the plus, open up the grid, change it from grid to columns, change this to 12. You can change the color as well. I'm gonna use the blue that I normally use and bump that back down to 10%. I'm gonna leave the type as stretch, change margin to 16 and gutter to 16. Let's just close that. Okay, so now we need a mobile one. So I'm just gonna zoom out, duplicate this change it from desktop to mobile. Let's zoom back in so we can see what we're doing. Go over to styles, add another one called 
mobile and then go and edit what mobile is. So let's hit the properties, change this to four and we're done. And that's it for layout and breakpoints. In the next episode, we'll cover border radius and with variables. I hope you're looking after yourselves and each other and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.